Welcome people, YouTube fans. Hey, if you like this video, uh, click and subscribe. And it's, my channel is going to be called Mr. Brown. So I think this is my second one. First one I did was like Holy Stone. Uh, okay, so this is my new drone. This drone right here is the uh, new CSJ X7 Pro. Okay. Now, I bought this drone off of eBay for $175 with two batteries, instruction book, and the case. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you the pros right now. The pros right now for this drone is two batteries, charging time, and app. I think those are very, very important because... No matter what drone you buy, if you have a crappy app, you're going to have a crappy ex flight experience. It's just it's that simple, okay? Just like if you go and buy a brand new smartphone. If it has a crappy software, then a lot of stuff just not going to function right, okay? You're going to get lagged, this and this and that, kind of stuff like that. But this drone right here has a, a really good app. The app, I want to say, is almost like three and a half stars. That's pretty good, especially mostly like Chinese app anyway. But this drone flies really, really good. Okay. And then inside the case, you got a pouch here. And then you got another pouch back here. Where you can put uh, maybe some spare props in the front. Maybe put a banana, I don't know, peanut butter sandwich or something like that. You know, like me. Okay. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty, the good stuff, okay? Number one, remote takes four batteries. So, using a remote takes four batteries. Usually means the electronics in it is a little bit better quality, okay? A little bit heavy-duty, okay? Um, the first drone I had, it took two batteries. So, using two batteries means the electronics not very much power up or they're a little bit cheaper, something like that, okay? Now, when you first get it, these knobs won't be on there. You press them in turn them, lock them. Um, I'm a firm believer in not taking the knobs out. Once I put them in, leave them in there. Just let them, just let them be, okay? Um, the other thing is, like right here, indicate the lights for your batteries of your uh, remote. And then right here, you got height, distant, GPS, and you also got drone and remote battery connection to let you know if they're connected and everything. Okay, and then right over here, you got return to home, and then you got another little feature there. All right, and then over on this side right here, with my this here, that's you can calibrate the drone right there where you spin it around, then horizontally, vertically. Okay, and then right here is mode two, press that five seconds, and what that'll do, that'll put it in a more powerful mode, that kind of thing, like that. So that works. All right. Then we flip around to the back side of here. This is where it operates the camera. Up and down. Okay. And then back over here, you got ramp where uh, it will just take off. And then you got headless mode. Okay. For these two buttons back there. All right. I don't really use any of these because <clears throat> I'm still learning. All right. And then the other cool thing is the app is really, really good. Really good app. Okay. Now, you can also calibrate the drone through the app. Okay. Calibrating drone through the app to me is like hands down the best that I've seen so far. You know, even though it's my second drone, I'm learning. You know, I'm teaching. And I also like to get taught. Okay. So if y'all know anything that I don't know, please drop a comment let me know i'll get back with you if you like this subscribe all right but anyway it's a really good good remote okay the cool thing i like these pop-up handle here just give you something to grab onto then you come right here and put your phone in there like that cool and then if you see that little slit right there that's where your phone fit down in there all right and then you pop that down like these like the little kickstands like that all right but i like these i put them down like that because i it feels good to kind of like hold it like this all right fold that down voila cool now press the button off 
good. I like this way better than the Holy Stone. Okay. Now, let's get to the good part. This is the drone. The CSJX7 Pro. And the arms have a really good pop to them. You hear that pop? You hear that pop? Pow. Pow. Nice, huh? All right. Uh, right there, I just put a little reminder, you know, to take the cover off and everything. Okay. And then on the back side right here, you can see there's the uh, optic flow sensor. And then right here, just a little instruction just to remind you, this should have been like up on the top. Okay. Then right here is the antenna quality control sticker and everything. Now, these little lights right here, I put them in myself. Okay. These are lights I would normally use on like my little RC crawler or my slash that I got lights on and stuff. So I drilled two little holes there because what I did was I popped this top off. You pop it from the back side, it just snaps. And there's a little hook right here in the front. So once you pop it up, slide it forward and take the hook out. And then right in here, there's a little light bar that had a positive and a negative wire, power wire that's going in there because the lights are little lights in there. And so I end up tying these lights into this light okay so i'm gonna give you a quick demo right quick so this is the batteries two 7.4 2800 milliamps the, the other beautiful feature is that I just take the usc cable charge so i have a uh usb plug <coughs> and this plug is as you can see three amps Okay, so it can charge the battery in about 45 minutes. All right, so pop the battery in from the back side like this. You don't want to slap it. Okay, press down a little notch there like that. Push it in here, snap. Okay, that lets you know in there right there. There's a little end right there where you can check it. Okay, and also how you also pull it out. Okay, and then right here is the power button. Now I'm going to press it. So four lights. Right now, the battery's 75%. Other than that, if it was 100%, be one more light right there. Okay. And you got the red back lights. Okay. Which is also your calibration lights. Now flip around to the front. Voila. Look at the scroll light, huh? Really nice. Really, really, really nice. Really, really nice, huh? Really, really nice. Anyway, I, I put them on the front because I just feel like I wanted some lights on the front. Plus, it was an easy mod to do. So, just in case you guys want to do one. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off. Press the back. Hold it. Hold it. There it is. They're off. Press down. Pull out. See, grab that bottom right there. Pull it right out. Okay. And pop in the bottom one first. Pop. 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 All right. And like I said, it's a, uh, it's a it's a really good drone. And then the camera itself, it's a two gimbal. It, it turns sideways and goes up and down. And when I flow them, this is a... Uh, Today was actually like the real flight that I did today. Today I took it up maybe about 25, 30 meters or something like that. Maybe, I'm going to say about 50, 60 feet in the air. It was kind of a little windy, but I'm, you know, just kind of like lightly treading the water. I ain't, I'm not going to push it because I'd rather be like out in an open field or open park. So around my house, I have a few trees and a couple other houses, power lines. So I'm just being like extra careful. But other than that, it's been like a great experience because the app, it's like really, really good app. To me, that's very important. A lot of reviews I watch, nobody really talks about the app or the charging features. <clears throat> and so being able to charge with a C cable allows you to charge faster and not be stuck and forced to use the charger that they give you, which takes about five hours. Okay. Put that back in there. Pretty good back. All right. <clears throat> like I said, the instruction, 
You can read them if you want, but a guy like me, 57, I have to have glasses to see this. Plus, it's not really good. But the app, I cannot stress it enough how good the app is. The app is really, really good compared to the Holy Stone. The Holy Stone, like I said, the app was two and one star. This was like three and a half star. The Holy Stone, when I connected to my phone, downloaded it, I had a hard time just for my phone to read through the Wi-Fi. This, first click, good, solid. 15, 16, 17 satellites. Bam. This thing right here, 475 bucks, two batteries. This right here is a very, very good deal. Good bark and good starter draw. Okay. Now, once I master this, then I may go to the, the DJ. But I wasn't ready to uh, spend DJ money, you know. You know, $400, you know, and just not learn to me just... I, I can't I can't justify that because I don't I don't I hadn't quite mastered it yet even though we may never master it but I just don't feel confident okay for 175 bucks if I lose this I don't feel as bad as I would 400 bucks okay but like I said this drone here it's good quality but, but it's just the app and the batteries okay and then I paid 250 for this for two batteries this was 175. So, the whole conclusion of all of this is that this drone uses the same battery as the SG906 Beast. Same battery. Now, I'm just kind of like wondering, could I use the 7.6 volt? I think I want to say like it's like 3200 milliamp. I wonder, could I use that in this? But I'm kind of like afraid that since this is 7.2, since the other is 7. Point, is it 4? It's 7.4. But now this is 7.4. The SG906 is 7.6. So I wonder, can I use a 7.6 in this drone? And but I'm kind of like afraid if will it burn it or something like that. I'm not 100 percent sure. But if you think that it that it that it won't do anything to it, drop drop me a comment down below and let me know if you've done it experience or anything like that and I, will, I will really appreciate it and i will respond back to you as quick as you can respond to me but if you like this video hey drop a comment share it and like i said ebay 175 bucks two batteries you can get you can get them a little bit cheaper probably like from china but then you know you gotta wait like an extra month before you receive it and I just rather deal with a U.S. seller because for the fact that if uh, something ain't right, I can just ship it right out. China is a whole different, whole different ball game. But anyway, everyone have a blessed day. Love everybody. Oh, and I want to let you know my motto is always remember it's the sin, not the skin. Love everybody. Peace out. Bye.